Buxfizz. How amazing! Thank you very much. Well, my God, Ian, Eurovision Ian! How amazing! <laughs> Do you know what? How come we still have your voices? I mean... We're going after tonight. <laughs> it was very well, good. We're born with them. We're born with them. I think the older you get, the stronger you get. That's true. Do, do you know that's so true with you guys? I mean, someone we, we spoke to the, ta the cab driver and he said it's a gift. Well, we work all the time, and I think it's you know like they all say it's a muscle. You know, the vocal cords, cords are a muscle, so we use them a lot. We exercise them a lot. Yeah. Well, Mike Nolan especially. I was say, yeah. <laughs> he never he never stopped singing. <laughs> First thing in the morning, he get up and you hear la 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 la. It, it can be enjoyable, but annoying yes, at is. the same time, yeah? No, that's, uh, that's when he does it. it's very enjoyable, actually. I love listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he turned around and said, oh, I love this song on the radio, and say, so do we, don't sing it. <laughs> Three guys together in, in the 80s who created so many successful singles and albums are called Stock, Eight and Water, Waterman. Yeah. And we're actually teaming up with Mike Stock to who's producing our new album. Wow. It's, going to be, it's going to be good. It's, it's, it's the way he recalls as well, it's different to the way we used to do it. It's all changed so much. So we're going to grin and it's going to be, so, it's going to be good fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So you said 32 more songs to come. No, no, that's no, a joke. joke. <laughs> that was a joke. It's one, of, it's one of Mike's not funny jokes. Well, everyone laughed. <laughs> I laughed. Yeah. Um, no, there'll be 14 tracks on the album, and we've done four so far. So 10 more to go, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 10 more to go. Yeah. What's the recording? Some old, and but most of them new. D do you enjoy it when you sing these new songs? Well, actually, we haven't heard them yet. We're working on stuff that we're writing. Obviously, we've heard our own songs, but we haven't heard any of Mike's Stock's new songs, so we're, we're eagerly awaiting that. Watch so, the space, as they say. So, I apologise, what's your new song called? Oh, no, the new single? Yeah. Well, we released Land and Make Believe again before oh, Christmas, oh, and yeah. uh, it was the new, it was the Mike Stock version of, mm. uh, of Land and Make Believe, and it went to number one in the iTunes charts. So uh, we'll release it again next Christmas, and probably every Christmas after that. <laughs> <laughs> but we may, with the recording we're doing, we may actually have a single. We will actually have a single out of it. We will. Because everything he records is all singles, he said. It's just all singles, and they pick out which one is the best of them all. So we could have a single out this year as well. Do you know what? I wish you very good luck. Um, no, best of success, they say nowadays. Thank you. And uh, my question, of course, is about this little silly song in 1981. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how I introduced it, wasn't I? Yeah. A silly Do you know, song. it's catchy the way you introduced it. <laughs> I said a silly song, less than three minutes long, but without a bit of Velcro and making your mind up, where would we be? And it's true. You Do know. you know, you honoured the fact that through Eurovision you became big. Yeah, true. totally. Well, it made us. But it can be a massive springboard for people. Just depends how it comes over, I guess, and whether people like it. Now, I know you have to go, but should we talk a bit about today's Eurovision? So, um, how do you think the UK can be more successful? Just, I don't... I, can I, that I don't think we will be successful in Eurovision. I just, because I think it's too... In, in one word, and everyone says it, and it is a fact, it's all political now. And it's a shame, because if you had it as a song contest by picking, going by the actual songs themselves, you know, everyone would get a chart, we'd get votes from them, but it's all... You know, people are voting for their, their um, neighbouring countries, things like that. That's why it's not happening. OK, so you're the observer and possibly the pessimist. We've got an optimist. Yeah, I know how Britain can, the UK can win the Eurovision Song Contest again. If they're the only song in the competition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll, we'll ever win again. No. Cool. No, okay, I don't fine. think we can. I just think the numbers thing, we haven't put in the greatest of songs. Whoever chooses the people that go in hasn't, haven't been great other than last year's the gut was Joe and Jake, Jake. Jake they were great, great. you like them yeah we they were wonderful the, we shouldn't be in the bottom five we should be in the top ten okay how about how about they change the rules and we don't know what the country is we just That's know them. we just know them as a number yeah so the we UK is not the UK English. it's number four and and Sweden is number five yeah. and so we don't know who they are and yes, then maybe, they, they'll be, be, right. maybe then there'll be a fair vote. 
Yeah. And everyone's got to sing in English, so nobody will know which country they're from. Well, most of them do. <laughs> most of them do sing in English, but if yeah. they don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Bucks Fizz, you're so innovative, that's for sure. Um, last question, are you going to watch Eurovision in Ukraine oh. this year? Of course. Yeah. We wouldn't miss it. Yeah, we never we, miss we it. We always watch it. Yeah, Great we do. We, we sit and we watch it. I tell you what I like to watch. I listen to the songs and um, it's good to recall them and then flick through the song. That's a rubbish song. Next song. And then the best part actually is the voting. And then it's replay, yeah? Yeah, replay. <laughs> Just the voting. I, I find the voting better. You know, when I was a kid, we, we all did. We all loved Eurovision. Mike. Mike. Jay's got a train catch. Bye, Jay. Yeah, when we were kids. <laughs> Bye. Okay, back to really got a train to catch. <laughs> okay, we say goodbye. I just don't want to lose my train, but thank you and Sorry. hello and goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So, is that, is that it? Oh. Sorry, I've got <laughs> I've got a plane to catch on Monday. <laughs> Bye. I've got I've got um, I've got um, a sandwich to eat. <laughs> no, you carry on with your story. We'll we'll, we'll see you later. Well, when I was thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll leave you to it. You'll be here for a couple of weeks. Do you know what, Bucks Face? It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you Jesse. very much. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye, Jay. Thank you. Bye, Jay.